Hi and welcome to Unit 7 of Economics, titled Inflation, Taxes, and Spending. So, in this unit, we're going to explore the factors driving inflation, the effects of tax policies, the impact of government spending, and the formulation of fiscal policy. So, let us move to the next slide. Okay, so inflation is the steady rise in the general price level of goods and services over time. It is influenced by various factors, and these factors include demand pull inflation. This occurs when aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply, leading to upward pressure on prices due to increased consumer spending. The second type would be cost push inflation. This arises when production costs, such as wages or raw materials, rise, causing businesses to pass on higher costs to consumers through price increases. And third, there's built-in inflation. This results from wage um, price spirals, where workers demand higher wages to keep up with rising prices, leading to further inflationary pressures. So understanding these factors helps policymakers formulate strategies to manage inflation effectively. Now second we'll be evaluating the impact of tax policies. So tax policies play a crucial role in shaping economic behavior and income distribution. We're going to explore how different tax policies impact these aspects. So for starters, we'll talk about progressive taxation. This is where a higher tax rate is imposed on higher income earners, aiming to reduce income inequality by redistributing wealth from the rich to the poor. The second would be a regre regressive taxation. This imposes a higher tax burden on low income earners relative to their income, potentially exasperating, exacerbating income inequality. And third would be the flat tax, this applies as a uniform uh, tax rate to all income levels, simplifying the tax system, but potentially placing a heavier burden on lower income individuals. So by analyzing the effects of various tax policies, policymakers can design tax systems that promote economic efficiency and fairness. So third will be comparing the effects of government, government spending. So government spending plays a dual role in influencing economic growth and stability. So we're going to look at economic growth. So government spending on infrastructure, education, and research and development can stimulate economic growth by boosting productivity and innovation. Economic stability is counter cyclical type of government spending such as increased public investment during recessions, which can mitigate the negative effects of economic downturns by boosting aggregate demand and employment. So balancing the objectives of economic growth and stability is crucial for effective fiscal policy management. Then we'll turn our attention to crafting a fiscal policy proposal addressing inflation, taxes, and spending. This is where you will create one. So let me provide, for example, a, a framework for our proposal. So we would start off by, say, having some inflation management. So we'll be implementing measures to address demand pull and cost push inflation, such as monetary policy adjustments and supply side reforms. Second would be tax reform, introducing progressive tax reforms to ensure a fair distribution of the tax burden while incentivizing economic growth and investment. Third would be strategic spending, prioritizing government spending on critical sectors like healthcare, education, and infrastructure to promote a long-term economic development and stability. So this was one example, and by integrating these elements into a fiscal policy proposal, we aim to achieve some sustainable economic growth, reduce inequality, and maintain price stability. So that would wrap up uh, basically in a broad sense uh, the unit.
So we're going to look at the intricacies of inflation, tax policies, and government spending, as well as create some policy formulation for our A4 project. So thank you. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class.